Hi Special Agents, Mrs G back again with some more maths reasoning. This week is going to be questions all about shape. Are you ready? 2D and 3D shapes. Let's go. Okay, so some questions will ask you to draw a line to match up a picture of a shape to their names. Now if you're very clever, you will have spotted there are three shapes and one, two, three, four names. Sometimes you don't have to use all the names. Okay, that top shape, one, two, three-sided shape, is that a pentagon, a triangle, an octagon or a hexagon? That's right, that is a triangle. A triangle has three sides. Well done. Now, Mrs. Gillette has counted the sides of the middle shape. Let's count them together. Remember, we can put a line through each side to make sure we've counted them. One, two, three, four, five. That is a five-sided shape. Can you remember the name of a five-sided shape? Is that a pentagon, an octagon, or a hexagon? Now, I remember hexagon with the number six. So I know it's not a hexagon. That's it. It's a pentagon. Well done. We've got one shape left and two words left. We've got octagon and hexagon left. Let's count the sides of this bottom shape and work out which name matches it. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sided. An eight sided shape. Is that an octagon or a hexagon? Like an octopus has eight legs and octagon has eight sides. Well done. And you don't need to do anything with the word hexagon. We just need to leave it. Fantastic. Okay. Match each shape to the correct description. One is done for you. So we've got shape names, triangle, square, octagon and circle. We need to be able to read those. And then we've got something that describes each shape. Has eight vertices, has three sides, has four right angles, has no vertices. Pause the video and tell someone at home another word for vertices. Did you get it? We get vertices or corners, if you please. Now, we've just learned that an octagon has eight sides. And where sides meet, that makes a corner or a vertices. So an octagon has eight vertices. Eight corners, if you please. So that would match up there. Now, a square does a, a square is either four right angles or has no vertices. Well, a square is made up of straight edges, so a square would have vertices, okay. Which shape doesn't have any vertices? That's it. A circle has no vertices, no corners, if you please. And we match square with four right angles. Okay, well done. Fantastic. Look at the shapes. Tick the hexagon. Hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. Think about the name hex and the number six. That's how Mrs. Gillette remembers. Okay, pause the video if you need to count the sides. Can you find the hexagon? Have a good look. I'm going to start counting the sides of the shapes from the top. One, two, three, four. It's not that one. What about the middle one? One, two, three, four, five. Not that one. What about that at the top right? One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> I found the hexagon. Did you find it? Well done if you did. Tick the pentagon. Can you remember how many sides a pentagon has? A pentagon has, that's it, five sides. Can you spot the five-sided shape? If you're not sure, let's just count the sides of all the shapes. Do the top ones first. One, two, three, four. No, not that one. It's about the one on the right-hand side at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, not that one. What's about the one on the bottom left? One, two, three, four, five. There it is. A pentagon has five sides. Did you get it? Fantastic. Find two shapes with only five straight sides. Draw a circle. So draw a circle around them. So we're only allowed five straight sides. Okay, can you remember what a straight side is? So we've just found a pentagon. We're looking for two more pentagons. Okay, so we know any that have got a curved side we can't choose from. Okay, we've got one with straight sides at the top, but that's one, two, three, four sided shape. That's a rectangle. It can't be that one. What about this one with the wool in it, one, two, four sided shape, it can't be that one. Can you see any pentagons with straight sides only? There we go. Straight sides. There we go. That's one, one, two, three, four, five. And the other one, there it is. Well done if you beat Mrs. G to finding those. Tick the names of the two shapes in this picture. 
Tick two. Triangle, square, rectangle, circle or hexagon. What two shapes can you see? So we've got a rectangle, that's a long shape with two short sides and two long sides. And inside the rectangle there is a, that's it, a circle. Well done guys. Okay, tick the two sentences that are correct. Tick two. So you've got to tick two or we don't get the point. Let's read them all first. A square has sides of equal length. A square has curved sides. A square has lines of symmetry. A square has five sides. Now straight away you should know the ones that are not true. A square is like the blue shape on the question box. So a square does not have curved sides. A square does have sides that are equal length. So we need to put a tick in there. Okay. Now we know we've just done a pentagon has five sides. So a square can't have five sides. Okay. So sometimes you can use what you know about other shapes to help work out that the tick goes in that box there. A square has lines of symmetry, which means if we put a mirror down the middle of a square, we would see the same shape reflected. Okay. Well done. One shape is in the wrong place on the sorting grid. Draw a cross on it. So on the left hand side we need shapes with a square face and we've got a cube, a cuboid and a cylinder. And on the other side we need shapes without a square face and we've got a sphere and a triangular prism. Can you see the shape that is in the wrong place? Is there a shape on one side that doesn't have a square face that, that is supposed to have one? What does a square face mean? Can you spot the odd one out? There it is, the cylinder does not have a squared face, so it needs to be on the side of the sphere and the triangular prism. It has a circular face, doesn't it? A square face just means it's got a square on the shape. Well done. 16, here is a prism, a triangular prism. Tick all the shapes that are faces on this prism. Don't let this trick you, okay? So the front of the face is a triangle. I expect you to find that one really quickly. Okay, there it is. Look at the side of the prism and tilt your head. It's a four-sided shape, two sides are short and two sides are long. Okay, and the shape options may have been turned another way. Don't let it trick you. Okay, I can see a rectangle there. Okay, well done if you got both of those. Tick each picture of a cylinder. What do we know about cylinders? It's got two 2D faces and one curved face. And we learnt just a moment ago that the cylinder has a circular face. Can you see any two, two of 3D shapes that have got a circular face? Okay, so there's the most obvious cylinder one. Okay, cylinders don't all have to be the same height. Now there is another one with a, a circular face, but a point at the end. You need to know that that is a cone, so it can't be that one. It can't be a cuboid. Can you spot another 3D shape that's got a circular faces and a curved face? There it is, it's just been squished, hasn't it? Well done. Okay, number 17. Tick the shape that does not have a line of symmetry. Now we'll be coming back to symmetry in a bit more detail, special agents. But symmetry means if we put a mirror down the middle, we would see the same shape on both sides. It would be symmetrical, the same on both sides. Let's draw lines down each shape and see which one would not be the same on both sides. Okay, so, so far so good. Can you see the one that does not look the same on both sides? Look very, very carefully. That's it, it's the house. Because the house has a chimney on one side and does not have a chimney on the other side. They are not the same, well spotted. How many vertices does a square base pyramid have? Now they've drawn the square base pyramid this way round so you can count all the vertices. Can you remember another word for vertices? Or corners if you please. So a vertices is where two straight edges meet. Let's put circles around and find them. So we've got one, two, three, four and don't forget the one at the top. That's five vertices. Well done special agents. Fantastic. Two of these sentences are correct. Tick them. A cube, and that's what the blue shape is, has curved faces. A cube has six faces. A cube has more than six corners. A cube has fewer, that means less than six edges. Hmm. Let's sing the cube song. A cube has, a cube has mm, 
faces. That's it. A cube has six faces. So I can tick that straight away. A cube has six faces, 12 straight edges and eight vertices, eight corners if you please. So is eight more than six? Yes, it is. So a cube has six faces, 12 straight edges and eight vertices or corners if you please and I knew not to even look at a cube has curved faces because I know that a cube is made up of straight lines and squares isn't it well done guys fantastic special agents leave me a like if you'll be tuning in next time don't share these tips with everybody bye for now